Hey there everyone, Vaish here, back again with another video and welcome to the React navigation part of the React Native series. Again, a big shout out to the top corner, Hashnode guys. They are amazing folks and helps all the developers in whatever the format they can. So have you checked out their recent launch of the rigs? Pretty interesting thing, you should definitely check that out. So let's continue our journey in the React Native and what we're going to do in this video is uh, we are going to focus on how we can actually move on to the home screen. So far we have done in the app screen or the app component itself. There is nothing too much that we are doing. Navigator container and we have this basic. Now let's go on to the home. The first thing that we're going to do is take care about the type safety. So we are going to import this root stack param list and out of that in the home screen we'll just deploy the home in the detail screen. You guessed it right, we'll detail. I'll not talk about details in this video. In this video, we'll just focus on the home and we'll see that how we can actually do this. First, import statements, which are super, super important. So these are all for navigations or navigation. Yeah, that's okay. So the first thing that we need is uh, this native, if we can, native stack, native stack screen props. That's what I'm looking up for. Uh, probably not not giving me. Let's go ahead and import that then probably it will give it to me. So this actually comes up from the additional component that we have loaded. So it's not a navigation part. It's what kind of component or what kind of navigation you're looking up for drawer or all of that. So uh, that is all it says. So this one actually comes from the native stack. And probably now it will give me some suggestions. It's actually a big name. So it's not easy to remember. These are header props. We are not looking for header props. We're looking for screen props. There we go. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing, thing that we are going to need is to import this guy. Remember, we exported this root stack param list. Uh, it's not compulsory, it's an optional thing for the type safety, So, but we're gonna go ahead and import that. So this is going to come up from uh, the app directory. App, is it? We need to go one directory back, dot dot slash, and then app. Oops. <laughs> dot dot slash we should write it again <laughs> dot dot slash app all right uh, there is nothing too much that is getting exported here so it should really suggest me root stack pram all right the two things the most important thing these are all done all right so how do we actually set up this type safety so type safety is really simple we are going to define a type let's call this as home props feel free to call it whatever you like even superman is totally fine and this one actually comes up from this uh, native stack uh, screen props because we are bringing the props what kind of props you are bringing in so this is where you define them so the types of props that I'm bringing in is known as root stack uh, root stack param list there we go and I'll put up a comma and then I'll say that hey I'm bringing in a, a home because this is an object that I've defined yes this is the syntax of how you do it first you name it from where you are bringing in and inside this because there are so many things home details which one we are bringing in I'm saying explicitly that I'm bringing in home. Again, type safety, this whole thing you can totally ignore as well. Not recommended, but you, sh you should have this one. Okay, now next thing, uh, as soon as you actually navigate using this whole container and the stack navigator, what you'd get is you get an additional thing which is inside the prop. So you can actually uh, extract that. That is known as navigation. Now this navigation has a lot of properties and a lot of things that you can work on with. Now this is giving a squiggly line because hey, uh, it's going to give you a problem that hey, uh, navigation is declared but not is used and all of that. But anyways, we are not worried about that error. We are worried about we should define the type that is coming up into this screen. And if you remember, home props is exactly defined for that. So a little bit type safety here if you want to have it. Okay, now inside this, let's have this view. We are going to go ahead and uh, styling and what we are bringing, we are not much worried about that. We'll just keep it as... Uh, styles dot container that's it okay now how can we go on to the screen so we'll keep this text as uh, let's call this one as simply home screen we do have a styling for this one as well so we're gonna call this one as style this one will be styles dot and small text so that you can just see this text something on the screen now, most important part is the button. You can use pushable as pressable as well. Uh, we are not interested in that part. Uh, all we are going to go ahead is this button. It is going to have first and foremost the title. The title is going to say go to detail screen. How it looks, 
don't really care just can go with the default button as well the interesting thing that comes up is this one on press what should happen on press there's a lot of things that you can do as i mentioned in the very start of this section the navigation section you can navigate to another screen with variety of methods each method has its pros and cons as discussed earlier always consider this as a stack that you are keep on loading the things if you are using the default one there are ways like replace which replaces the entire stack we can go with that method but let me show you a couple of them first of all let's fire up a callback and now we are going to use this navigation navigation this is the navigation exactly that is given to us and again this is the prop that comes up because we have configured this app here so in all of these screens this prop will be available to you by default because it's a part of that stack and in this we have a method as you can see this navigation as i put a dot you can see there's a lot of things you can keep on listening on to it can go back uh, we can have a dispatch get id there is a lot that we can do in this case we want to we are interested in just to navigate and you can read more about it a simple method navigate provide name of the route to navigate to really simple there is nothing too much going on and as you put up a parenthesis here it will show you that hey where you want to navigate this is the one and uh, you can see this is the second type of it screen and then you can pass on some params as well you can click up here and there is a product id and string there's a lot that you can do we are interested in the second one that this is the one that we'll be using so first of all i'll go on to details this is the name of the screen where i want to go and uh, apart from this i'll also pass on some of the props uh, as well uh, or you can say the params i'll just give it a product id and that product id needs to be string so let's just give it a 86 88 whatever the number you want to give that's all what we're going to do now notice here one thing in this particular screen home screen this details was never ever declared or even used all thanks to our app that everything is controlled from here so as soon as i say details it will just look for the details but there can be a type issue here because notice here this is details uh, there is nothing which is stopping you to say that hey i want to call detail uh, although oh, that's nice that we have this that hey this detail uh, doesn't exist oh that's nice but there are there are still chances i don't think so there are chances now because it's checking all the safeties and everything is there that's why people love typescript it avoids the safety and all of that okay this is one way of doing the things that how you can actually go ahead and use this pretty simple pretty easy uh, also we're going to make this button as self-closing because we are providing the title like this so we're going to go ahead and provide it like this so it should be all happy all right so let me go ahead and comment this out because now you understand oops now you understand that how this is being done so this is one way of doing the things i'll show you a couple of more ways uh, otherwise what's the point of having a video where we are just having the discussion all right so this is the one basic way of how you can use this let me show you another one uh, this one is uh, pretty interesting and easy let me just show you just a second all right uh, some calls actually comes in between so we had to take that also okay so we have seen this already we have discussed this that there are two ways you can just pass on this name or you can pass on optionally some props as well up to you uh, in case you want to go like this something like on press hey i want to pass you a callback just like this and this will be uh, navigation dot navigate and i'll just provide you one thing which is details so you can absolutely go ahead and do this there shouldn't be any problem onto this one but this details actually expect uh, an argument type that is why it is creating a problem if you go ahead and say that hey you know what uh, this will just take one parameter i'll cut this out just to show you this will also be undefined uh, this guy should be happy but we don't want to do this we actually want to go back just to make sure that you understand each and every bit and every concept of it i'll just comment this out as well that this is also optional way let's go to the third way which is the easiest one of all and which actually creates sometimes problem on press go like this and there we go now <clears throat> this navigation as you can see everything runs and governs through this push up put up a dot and you can see there's a go back is focus navigate pop pop to top push there's all of them now as soon as you use this push uh, just go ahead and say it like this that hey i want to just push it so you simply go ahead and say push and as you can see you can just give the screen name or you can pass on some params as well totally up to you how you want to go with that so we're going to go ahead and say hey i want to give you this details i'll pass on some props as well or some data to carry on which will be product id product id 
and that should be of type string if you'll give numbers it will yell at you so don't do that provide a number there we go now the push is super easy but it keeps on pushing and adding layers on the stack so just like this this is one such implementation in instagram as well where you keep on going into the profile inside the profile inside the profile callback hell profile hell so there's a lot of things that can happen Okay, so far we have had a great discussion about it, that how this is all being done, how it is being properly utilized. We haven't talked about that, uh, we have seen that how we can send the data. Now we need to learn how we can receive the data. We have done the data safety as well, type safety. We have seen that how we can move on to different screens. We have seen that how we can pass on some data. Once you understand how to pass on data uh, from home to details, you can obviously pass on from detail to home. That's a basic 101. Uh, so in the next video, I'll show you that how we can actually uh, expect this data and extract this data. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.